Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Hope you guys are doing well. So today in this video we are going to create and use variables in flow and uh, we will create instant flow to work with variables. Uh, first of all uh, I will show you what is variable. Let me open my notepad. Variable is used to store information to be referenced and manipulated later, later in flow or later in your program. It is helpful to think of a variable as a containers that holds information and use those containers later in your flow or in your program. So let me tell you with examples. Okay, for example, we have variable with the name my age and the value of that variable is 10 and I have second variable after years and the value of this variable is 20 and I want to calculate my future age so this is third variable and in third variable I can say like this my current age and after 20 years I can use this one but this is hard coded for this variable I want to make I, I want to use my variables these variables over here for future age so I will use like this my age this is first variable after years this is second variable so this variable will be added with this variable and the result will be saved in this variable future age. So how, how it would work? My age will be replaced by 10. Why? Because my age value is 10 over here. And after years will be replaced by 20. Why? Because after years variable is having 20 value so 10 plus 20 equal to 30 so 30 will be assigned to this variable future age in the same way in your program in your program later in your program or later in your flow if you change this value uh, the value of my age variable and the value of after years variable you can change so this is the same variable my age my age but I am changing the value and for the after years variable again I am changing the value so now if I use my age and my sorry my age and after off after years if I use again my age and after years over here so the this is not 10 as over as we can see over here and this is not 20 anymore as we can see over here the value the value of the variables has have been changed so the new values are 8 plus 12 my age is 8 and after years is 12 so 8 plus 12 is 20 so after 12 years if my age is 8 and after 12 years 8 plus 12 my age would be 20 okay third example let's suppose we have an we have a variable my number with the value of 2 and second variable answer and the value is 0 I want to multiply this number with 4 and want to save that result in this variable answer how would I do answer equal to my number which is 2 we can see over here my number multiply by 4 so my number is 2 we can see and multiply by 4 and the answer would be 8 so 8 would be assigned to this variable and we can use 
this variable later in our flow or in our program. So I hope uh, it would be a little clear to you guys if you don't if you don't know what is variable. Variable can change with the uh, with the program if you change the value. But if you use hard coded values, you cannot change and then you have to change the program and build again and again. But you can change the variables over here. If I can if I, let's as you can see I change this variable value over here so I don't need to change this line so wherever you use your variable you don't need to change those lines you have to change only one line if you have variable depending on the requirement so let's go back to our flow screen and uh, let me show you quickly what we will do in this video then we will create our flow step by step so i have already this flow for the variables let me turn it on and uh, select this and click edit okay so i have different steps and in those steps i have uh, different uh, variables in this step i have my current age like 10 in this step I have number of years like 20 and uh, I will calculate my future age from this age from this variable my age and from this variable after years so I created third variable with the value of 0 and in this step I add this variable my age and this variable years after years it would be calculated and assigned to the future age variable and it would show you the result let me sh run this flow test this this run flow done see my current age is 10 number of years 20 and the result is 10 plus 20 is 30 so now I will show you step by step how to create these kind of flow and the variables in the flow go to my flow and turn it off click over here new instant flow and just you can have any name calculate my future age and select this manually trigger a flow flow button mobile okay now we will create steps click new step search variable over here variable connector so you will see variable select this connector and for the variable connector we have these kind of actions initialize variable set variable increment decrement append to string variable and append to error variable we will see uh, these kind of actions in later videos but at this moment uh, we are just focused to initialized our variable click initialize variable and you put the name so oh it's increment oh, i'm sorry uh delete this uh initialize variable click over here again and uh, variable click initialize this one initialize variable so you can have name my current age uh, we need to specify the type data type of this variable and for this we will use integer and let's suppose at this moment my age is 8 and you can rename this step as well and this name this display string has nothing to do with this name we will use this name in our flow in later <coughs> sorry <coughs> in later steps we will not use this display name this is just for the readability 
you can rename it here is my current age minimize this click new step variable select variable connector initialize variable numbers of years select integer let's suppose I want to see my age after 20 years again rename this step rename future age after numbers of years minimize this new step again search variable connector and uh, I would create my last variable which is future age so initialize variable future age again it would be integer and because it would be calculated based on my current age and number of years so I can leave it as it is or I can put I can assign it a zero value okay if we can rename it as well my future age okay so I have my current age I have number of years over here and uh, I will add these two and assign to my future age so now I will step I will create step variable new step variable now we don't need to initialize our variable uh, initialize um, uh, when we initialize variable we put a we assign some values and we create a variable as you see but now we are going to set this variable the future variable right so we are going to set we will select this set variable now because we will use this variable my future age so we will select over here select my future age now whatever you will put over here like whatever it will assign to this future age it will this value will be set to this variable so now you can see we are not creating any new variable why because we are setting variable over there we were initializing our variable so we will we were creating new variable so over here we are setting a variable so we will use what we have already created in the flow so we will select future age and over here we need to have something which will calculate our future age so we will use expressions and we have one formula add so we will select this add and you can see uh, the description it returns the result from the adding two numbers so over here we want to use our two variables my current age and number of future number uh, number of years but how we will use these variable okay click over here again and uh, expressions add open brackets okay we can use variables from the variable collections like variables you will start writing variables you will see variables and then you can write my current age right in the same way you will select again variables and then numbers of 
years. So these, these are two my variables. Click OK. See, if you hold your mouse over here, add variable my current age and variables number of years. And you can save. And you can just, okay, now we have created our steps. This is my current age, which is eight. This is my uh, second step with the second variable number of years 20 this is my future age variable which is 0 because it would be calculated on the behalf of these two variables set variable so I selected this future age and then I put expression or formula over here so what it would do it would take the variable value from here because I mentioned my current age formula my current age variable and it will take number of years variable value from here so 8 plus 20 28 so it should give the result 28 in our future age variable so let's save click flow and check okay no error no warning and test perform test run flow done okay all your flow ran successfully so we can see what is the value of this current age my current age this is age all set and the value of the number of years 20 all good and uh, this is zero and now over here we set this variable value uh, means 8 plus 20 it should be 28 click over here 28 so this flow added the value of variable my current age and the value of variable number of years and assigned or set to future age variable over here we can see the output so this is how we create and use variables in our flow uh, it is very useful we, we should create uh, our variables and flows wherever uh, we need to create so let me go back to over here so this is how we create uh, in how we create variables in flow these variables are very handy and very useful uh, and uh, i recommend you guys to create and use uh, variables where where you need it and uh, i would like to have your feedback again please on this video if it is possible for you guys if this video helps you please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video stay blessed and keep learning thank you